Edmund is still here. I am still here. You days are, later. You are the Edmund. Yes, probably several days, because I wouldn't want to give away all the, the precious Edmund episodes in one go. <laughs> I've just been here for days. Oh, yes. Yep. Just locked away in my basement. That's right. Sitting sitting silently. Did you ever Have you ever given anybody the rundown on how we met in any of your videos? Uh, probably, but I guess we can go again. <laughs> I want you to tell me how you remember it, and then I'll tell you the real version. Oh, well, there was one time where we talked about it on a stream that you or your wife did, but I know, I'm not sure if I've sounded alright in that. But then again, we're doing Skype still, so I, we probably still sound horrible. Yeah, nobody nobody saw that. This is where they're going to be getting the real the real deal. Yes, this is where, where the, the real... How did we meet, Florian? How indeed? Well, I suppose how we first came in contact, because I sent you a... A screenshot of Gish. First, I sent you an email about Gish. I don't yep. even remember what I said, and then you didn't answer, so I, I had to step up my game, and then I, I sent you a screenshot with a, a grotesque bug in Gish, uh, assuming that, that you were, professional developers who, who would not stand for bugs in their games. <laughs> <laughs> Completely yeah. it's, it's always the best introduction to somebody complaining about a bug. <laughs> like, yeah, I want to work with this person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's what it took anyways, because otherwise you probably wouldn't have responded. <laughs> so, how did, how did, so how did I end up... Um, so my memory... I don't remember that at all, actually. I remember you messaging me on um, on AIM yeah, I and bet. telling me that... that I... um, Gish inspired you to make games, and that you wanted to make physics-based games like Gish. Oh yeah, I was totally into that. Yeah, I see, I, I, I guess you wouldn't remember, because you, you hardly even realized that I... I guess I asked for you for your aim, and then I, I didn't see you online for ages, so I didn't talk to you because... Well, I couldn't talk to you because time zones, and you, you stay up at really weird times. And, <laughs> and, true. and also, you're always busy. And, well, yeah. I don't know how busy you were back then, but you were definitely not responsive to most people that contacted you, so it was quite lucky that I actually got a hold of you eventually. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what it was that... Because, I mean, yeah, a lot of people will, would bother me, but um, <laughs> for whatever reason, I think you ended up saying, like, check this thing out, and you'd post it on Newgrounds. Um... And it was interesting enough, I don't remember what it was, but then later on you were like, hey, check out this, I think you were trying to show me, wasn't it the Triactin prototype? Or was there something before that? <laughs> oh, that was way before that. And what was the first thing you ever sent me? I'm just trying to remember. I think it might have you been You sent me pack. something that was like, interesting enough for me to be like, oh. It, like it, it probably was my grotesque and weird Pac-Man remake that I made, but maybe not, because it was, maybe it was even before that. There was a... I must have sent you something that was really basic, but it was a, a physics engine I made myself, probably, if I don't... If yeah, I, don't I think that's kind of that what one. it was. It was it was interesting because I don't think many people at all really did anything physics-wise in Flash. I didn't even know you could. Um, and you were sending me this weird stuff, and how old were you, like 15? Oh yeah, I must have been really young. Well, I was yeah. definitely sk still in school. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it was. It was like, who's this kid bothering me? And then <laughs> it just turned out that like you were surprisingly good, and you were just doing things in Flash that were very, um, I want to say, out of the box. Like you were, you were doing interesting things that I hadn't seen done, and you weren't doing them. It's not like you were doing them correctly. I don't know if that's the best <laughs> way to say it. You were doing them in your own way, and it just seemed like you were doing things that weren't possible. Oh yeah, and I didn't understand how you were doing them. Oh yes, I never uh, did things correctly or by the rules. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you just like yeah, I mean, sweep even, them under the rug. Even to this day, people are like, "How the hell did you? How did you do Isaac in Flash? Like, <laughs> doesn't seem like. Yeah, it's it's different. Basically, yeah, you're you're interesting. And um, when we started working together, you were the only person that I had ever worked with that was down with the really weird stuff that I wanted to do. Oh yes. Everybody else had to like. Wait, how is this gonna, you know, make me look if I do this game? <laughs> you know, and it's like, and you go to Florian and like, yeah, I want to make this game called Cunt, and it's gonna be a, <laughs> basically a pornographic game. 
Um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Perfect. I, I had I had to wrangle in Florian when it came to content, you know, of what we should and shouldn't do. But uh, yeah, <laughs> you never opposed um, any ideas that I had, and that was a pretty rare thing for me. Uh, I worked with a lot of more like traditional programmers that liked more traditional ideas, and uh, well, I got to go to the walls with. Uh, Oh, I remember. I remember you made a game where you were a vomiting bird at one point. Before that, so yeah. I, I'm sure they were on yeah. board with some of your weird ideas. <laughs> yeah, he 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 was on board with some of them, but it wasn't like uh, the really subversively odd stuff. At times, I thought, I wonder, I wonder, if Florian just doesn't understand how <laughs> fucked up this actually is, or <laughs> totally just down with it. <laughs> Either way, I was taking it. I mean, you were <laughs> a very competent Flash programmer who did a lot of really unique things, like your. Your uh, your programming design was interesting, and you always found ways to do basically what I wanted to do, but with your own spin, um, usually physics wise. And uh, yeah, and it was you were always up for whatever. I mean, who the fuck would have programmed Coil with me? Like, no, I don't think anybody would have been interested in doing something so weird. And I ended up actually getting us nominated for multiple awards. Oh yeah, it's even on Steam somehow. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, we got oh, that's so weird. <laughs> I put it, that was my second game I put on Steam for free. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's super odd. <laughs> I was so, pretty yeah. proud of that at the time. But yeah, this is how I, how a young boy could easily get roped into making really weird games on the internet if you don't watch your kids. <laughs> <laughs> you like some, some. I don't know. I gotta. How much older am I than you? Ten plus years, right? Ten years at least. Well, I'm 28 now. Oh uh, no, not ten then. Well, almost eight years. I guess it it doesn't seem that big of a difference, but when you think back, when you're only fifteen, it seems like I'm a weird, creepy old guy. It's like, yeah, make a game about a vag. Oh yeah, the penis. Make a little penis move around and piss and come on stuff. That's so great. You fifteen-year-old boy. Oh yeah, and then when when the the bottle goes into the penis. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, yeah, I don't think mom was paying much attention to what you were doing, so you got away with it. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure they were all just fine with the most grotesque things of all. It probably just <laughs> just got onto all the the weird YouTube videos. I actually don't don't remember. Did we get into weird YouTube videos, or was that too sexual for YouTube? Hmm. I no, there are YouTube videos of it up there, of hmm. of cunt and stuff like that. But I guess it's okay. I haven't actually looked in yep. a long time. It might have. All gotten taken down for all I know. <laughs> Too sexual. <clears throat> Remember we had to censor the... Well, we didn't actually have to censor the name for Newgrounds. It was that somebody already made a game called Cunt. Remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's why I changed the name. People are always like, well, you censored the name on Newgrounds or whatever. And I'm like, oh, no, it's... There was already a game called Cunt, I believe. And I couldn't do it. There was some, some overlap somewhere on some website, so I had to change the name. What, what a weird website where you can't have du duplicate names. Imagine if you couldn't have duplicate names on YouTube. It would be, it would be so hard and every video would be full of numbers and, and letters that, that don't make sense <laughs> just so it wouldn't be double. There'd be a guy that just goes around making blank videos with names so he can sell you <laughs> the title. It would be just like the domains in, in real life. Oh god. Someone took Game Squid and wanted to sell it for me. For for two thousand dollars, GameSquid.com. Wow. Yeah, somebody um, at some point purchased my full name, uh, EdmundMcMillan.com, and wanted to sell it to me for like ten thousand dollars. Oh god! Like, oh, it's cool. I'm just gonna get a shorter version, Edmund M. <laughs> that's great. I don't want my whole name. <laughs> cool. Wow. That's stupid. Oh, that's how it goes. Oh god. Plagiarism to the max. I wasn't even. How, how old were you when you came and visited? Were you 17? Hmm. Or were you 18? I think I must have. That must have been after the army, right? Yeah. Well, in that case, I must have been 19 or more. No, you couldn't have been that. Maybe it was before then. Could it have because been we before? Did, hmm. We did, um. I, I thought we did Isaac right after you got out of the army. Surely not, because. They wouldn't let me go to America instead of joining the army right away, would they? Hmm. You seem super young, though. Well, yeah, it's 
It's only half a year of difference. Oh wait. But I suppose I always. Seventeen. I I always got. People always told me I was young. Hmm. <laughs> well, when you are young, you are technically. You're I young. mean, I mean, they 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 thought I was younger than I was. Hmm. Oh uh, well. You were also your your English was pretty rough um, when you visited initially, so you probably seemed even younger. Yeah, I'm I'm sure I learned a lot just from from talking to you about all the weird things. Definitely yeah. warmed up. I remember um, me and Alex were having a conversation about Arrested Development, the show, and um, you were listening in and and you asked, um, "Do you think that's something that I would like?" And I was like, "I don't know. I don't I don't think you'd like it." And yeah, then you said, I don't think I did. I, I think I checked out at one point. It was just horrible humor. <laughs> <laughs> that show is the best. But either way, when, you, when I said I don't think you'd like it, you're like, your response was, I like spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that you probably did not understand what we were talking about at all. Uh, it was pretty good. There was, also, there was also a part where you went to Jamba Juice and you ordered... Um, you ordered a, a, a Jamba Juice, and they asked you what your name was. Or no, they asked you if you wanted a boost, and you thought that they were asking for your name, so you said, Florian. And they were like, no, no, do you want a boost in your drink? And you said, Florian Himsel. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was, that was probably because they, the burger place went too early. They insisted on having my name, and then they... <laughs> they, they couldn't pronounce it, so <laughs> it was all horrible. <laughs> they had the or best he, burgers, though. An alien from another planet. And he was <laughs> learning, learning the ways of the world. I say my name. <laughs> Perfect. So what's this it boost? Was good, though. We, we did get we got Twin Hobo Rocket done. Oh yeah, that was the only thing we did while I was there. Otherwise, I was yeah. just well, really we lazy. We played a lot. Yeah. That's all we did. We played Civ and we made Twin Hobo Rocket. But I think. Twin Hobo Rocket was the only thing that I ever completed in like the three years that I worked there. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess so, that is so wow. <laughs> so that's that that was something, I guess, right? Yeah. Man, I wonder but what you, Alex is Alex up to. Over, you and Alex over argued over who would be a millionaire first. <laughs> Remember that? Oh yes. And now we're completely not disclosing how much money we're making currently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was it was it was a good it was a good time. Oh yeah. Not bad. Have you heard from Alex recently? That is the the GISH program for everyone who's wondering. Yeah, I talked to him. I talked to him randomly on Skype, and I see him around town. He he moved back uh, to Santa Cruz. He's still working on the walking physics stuff that he's been working on. Oh wow! You could meet him. <laughs> yeah, I, I I run into I've run into him in the store and around town. Mm -hmm. I should probably invite him over at some point so we can... Oh, have you? Yep. Have I haven't, you? but I, I probably right. will. Oh, wow, Isaac's hard. Huh? Oh, the, the video. Isaac's hard. I just picked it up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, have you been looking at the video? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm watching the video. The uh, It's funny because I, I mostly watch Danielle play at this point because she plays probably an hour or two a day still. Oh, wow. And, uh, but she... She always she always gets bored with a save like she'll like get really far and then she'll put it down for a while and then she'll play it again but she'll want to start from scratch so I rarely see Isaac's heart ever because I don't think she has unlocked it in the current the current save. <laughs> I don't even know how you lo unlock it. Nor would I want it anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are there's think of points up, huh? to it though. Can't you like totally bust up the uh, donation machine or not donation, but the yeah blood donation machine? How? You see me do oh, with, that later. With the, oh wow, how convenient. <laughs> I mean that's what it's desi that's what it was designed to do. Like some of the more oh, weird guess. ones that you're like, why would I want this? Usually it's because there's some major infinite loophole that you can go crazy with. Uh, My blood rise. Oh yeah. yeah there, there, there is lots of combos with it, but for the most part, it's bad. But then there's just the bad ones. But the bad ones are also amazing. Danielle did a run where she had like, I egged her on the whole time. She had the cursed eye, um, the oh. Bob brain, the curse of the tower, and a few of the other bad ones. And it was just kind of like <laughs> ultimate chaos. I love, I love those. You gotta have, you gotta have at least ten horrible, 
<laughs> but interestingly rewarding items in the game, so you can, you know, make things interesting. Oh, just, just absolutely horrible. I think it looks. Sackhead is by far the most busted item. Oh yeah, can go really well. I have. I don't even understand how and why it generates so many goddamn go. batteries. Batteries? It, yeah. Oh it, yeah. Like, sacks, I guess. It looks like there's a it, like. Well, we can test it right here. When he opens up the sacks, there's like about 50 or 50 chance of, of generating a battery, and oh, yeah. so all you need is the sack and some usable item that is busted, and then you can just go infinite. Oh yeah. But he's I... going infinite here either way. <laughs> And I've got my my runes unlocked, so it's only only Yara and Perforo, and then I could <laughs> I could get the the blank card and, and create infinite of those infinite chests and infinite everything. Uh, Double. I wonder if you designed it that way. Oh wow! <laughs> it doesn't even hurt. <laughs> yeah. And the only problem is that Paul had to get this. This run over in a certain amount of time because you only had an hour on this specific day. What's the save like on this? Is this 100%? Yes, 1001%. Uh, 1, uh, oh, yeah, Paul's really nerded into it. <laughs> just yeah, just remember wait. that time I had to get How do you know if that's last... a child's heart or Isaac's heart? Oh, boy. Like, that's, supposed to be a, that's supposed to be a spoiler right there. Like, <laughs> the child's heart is Isaac's heart. Oh god. Whoa! Damn. Mind is blown. <laughs> yeah. There's there's gonna be some really crazy items in um Afterbirth Plus. Oh wow. I think you will enjoy them. I, it's it's gotten very difficult to come up with interesting new items, but there's a few new themes that I've spoiled a few of them, like like the <laughs> kind of like um stacking items into yourself, like embedding um Trinkets. Trinkets. So they like can keep stacking into you. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah, and then embedding stat based items and usable items into each other. Like that was kind of a new theme where there's like there's like four or five different items that push things together, kind of. It was all based on an item that I wanted to do. I don't know if you remember ages ago where I wanted to make it so you could hold two usable items. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. Oh the space by items. Yeah, and uh, we were trying to figure out what what the best way to do that was, and I don't think we ever could come up with a good idea that didn't, you know, totally fuck up the game. But at that point, the game was fucked up already, so... Well, uh, would, I've seen much like that. The problem would be that you'd have to make it so that there would be one, I, one, one button that only works if you have that item. Yeah, so, well, that's, I mean, that's the basic idea, and with, um, with Void, that's kind of how it works, where the I, like... You, you destroy an item and then your spacebar item, which is void, be, becomes that item and whatever items you also destroy with it. So whenever you press it, it does every single item that you currently have. Well, yeah, but that's still just one button. If you had yeah. a button to switch items, then you'd have two different buttons that, are, that, that don't work unless you have that specific item that allows you to have two spacebar items. For sure. Easy well, if I could boss. do it differently, I would make it so it'd be more like an MMO and you'd have um, a line of usable items at the bottom that you could shift through and then use different ones. Sorry, keep burping. Oh, wow. An actual MMO. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Could you use control it. button again for space biomes to switch them? What's that? Oh, yeah, I guess use you could actually. Use a control actually. button to switch the space bar items like you do with cards, tarot yeah, cards you could. and such. You do that. Which unfortunately Wait. also didn't exist yet in the original Isaac, but yeah, I guess you could do that now. In the original Isaac, could you carry? Yeah, you could carry multiple. Yeah, but there was no button to switch. You couldn't switch. You, you would just drop them, and that's how you. Wait, was there? I don't know. Oh, no, because we didn't have a map, and we used the map oh. for. Oh, I think you can only carry two trinkets, but not two cards. I might be wrong. I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah. In a while. No, it must. Hmm. Can it be two? Here's cards? the big question everybody wants to know, Florian. Are you gonna make an eternal mod for Afterbirth Plus? I was thinking about that, but I think the only way I could be re realistically doing that is if I hired someone to do it. Don't you think you could just <laughs> ask the people that made Rebirth to to do this for me? <laughs> well, the the whole point is that they made all the tools, so. They don't have to. 
Well, yeah, but, but I'm not sure I, if, I, if that I can works. guarantee that, that someone watching or somebody around could probably do what you want to do. Well, um, yeah, but... The I, there's no doubt. I mean, no, you're probably too busy to do it either way, but someone will probably do it. I mean, there's I, enough people out there who like the ultra hard troll mode. I, Speaking of which, I tried my best to reference it. There's a new challenge in Afterbirth Plus um, that is like super hard mode. Sweet. It's not exactly what... what um, what you did, because of course I couldn't mod enemies into the freaky things that you did. But, uh, Under white it's going to be really difficult, and it's in the same vein of trolling. Yep. Can you give us a drop, a little hint? Um, like, what does the challenge see a lot of champions. That's, there's a hint. Oh, oh great, it's like with champions, see you, didn't it? <laughs> uh, yep, just exactly like that, nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did it only last to Mamba? I don't remember. No, it goes all the way. Um, it, it must go all the way, wow, otherwise it wouldn't be hard enough. Be that hard, yeah. <laughs> it was. It goes hardcore. There's some interesting things in there. There's um, uh, you know, like everybody complains about how like you, you never want to go down because it's harder and there's not a bunch of items or whatever else. But I made it so there's like an extra reward where if you if you beat the dark room, it asks if you want to play the game again with your items. Oh boy! But it raises the plus. and lets you oh. go all the way around again, Sweet. and maybe more. We'll see if you can do it. Wow! Maybe ah, yeah, new game plus. Forever. Give me. Sounds pretty good. Even though you probably would have a problem if you already start overpowered, but then again, we already have breaking runs where you get all the items, so I guess the game can handle it. Yeah. Remember that time I crashed on Mega Saiyan because I was spamming bombs out and I kept duplicating yeah. chests on the chest? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's so many bugs that, that are so rare and that can never be fixed. Uh. Blank card and once Jerry you, is going to be even more bugs. broken because you can like absorb, since you can absorb trinkets, you can absorb a paper clip so you can unlock infinite normal chests without the golden key anyway. Oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> Loot! Oh. Can't wait. Oh wow, the bloat. Uh, the special bloat with the apricot shots, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Not so I, difficult. I remember making that. Not as bad as the eternal bloat though, who, who shoots infinite eyes every time he jumps. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> See how know. hard that, that- honestly, like, how hard could that be? That, that should be the easiest mod in the world that you can- you can just toss in. Eternal bloat. Oh yeah, just- Everything I is bloat. <laughs> oh yeah, someone made a mod with that, like, I, I made every single enemy a bloat. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> In greed mode. Oh All bloat mode. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a hard greed mode too. Oh wow, everything's gonna be hard. I'm already having issues with how hard it is because now I'm getting old and I'm not as skilled at games <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You know no, what yeah, I'm I, I was talking, talking about. I was talking to Danielle the other day about it, and I really oh, there's a little little t tiny guy. Uh, um, I really think like at this point in the game, like once you have pretty good knowledge of the game, the game kind of becomes like a game of solitaire, where you're just trying to like optimize everything to, you know, cha raise the probabilities of getting a busted combo, and then going infinite. Yep. That's how. Oh, it you can. We're now looking get fuck all and it, and it just ends. Oh yeah. Well, I usually <laughs> like just take. Like just like because when you have moves, it's over. I never played solitaire. I How usually never play solitaire. How indeed? Maybe I just never got into it. Oh yeah, you're it's right. Like those those on... shops are huge. Oh. Yeah. It's like installed on every Windows operating system. <laughs> but I was a young child and I thought the cards were so lame. <laughs> <laughs> oh great, Arthur, it's... it's all about? What, playing blackjack or poker is lame. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Who'd wanna do Can't that? Do an episode on, on floor... Oh man, you really broke it now, huh? You got infinite money, you just need... All you need is, uh... The, uh... Refresh the shop. The restock, uh, yeah. We always hope to I get wish. restock. <laughs> I wish. Oh, I wonder if you're gonna go to the blue boom. Hmm. 
You should do. I, I, I want there to be like a a daily Florianism where you say like, uh, playing cards are overrated. <laughs> or, Poker is dumb. <laughs> see, the, the problem with poker is that it's too social, and, and I don't like social <laughs> things. Right, see, perfect. That's it. That's all you need. The problem with poker is it's too it's too social. You gotta play with there, other there people. There were some great ones we visited that I remember. There was um, <laughs> um, I don't believe in germs. That was a good one. I didn't mean that. I just don't believe that they're a threat to you. That uh, they're bad to you. That they're a threat to you. They're because, a threat. Yeah, I don't believe that because you have an immune system, so you should be fine with, with germs. Well, yeah, but you, you don't want to get sick. I mean, usually people try to avoid germs because they don't like being sick. But getting sick is fine because you'll you'll get a strong immune system and you'll get less sick in the future. Well, that's not necessarily true. That's no. not how it works. You'd be, it? you'd be more immune to the to the specific, the specific strand of, of flu or cold. But you're not going to be. It's they change the, the everything changes and mutates. So your body, or we would all be immune. Like everybody gets the same cold every year, right? That goes around. But yet next year you're going to get it again because it's new. Hmm. So it's usually like people just try to avoid getting sick. That was the the whole thing was is we went bowling. We went bowling and Florian refused to wash his hands because he didn't look <laughs> germs. <laughs> oh, did was, I? Uh, it was it was jaw dropping. It was like it, it's not like we were. It's not like we were eating sushi and you were eating with your hands. It was, it was like Florian, you should wash your hands, and you're like, I don't believe in germs. Oh man, you're, you're becoming some kind of embarrassing father for me. <laughs> How dare you, Florian? You should, have, you should have an episode where it's just Florianisms. You know, you just say. Uh, Talk about your beliefs, the things that you believe strongest about. And ah, yeah, yes. Everybody will too. I, I definitely will, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, you would? <laughs> I have one more. Uh, you told me that you don't believe in calories. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was. I used to be fat. I, I I, grew up being fat, and now I'm I'm having trouble losing weight even now. <laughs> uh, you're fine. You're on the well, I'm, I'm we, fine for you're American standards, small. yeah. <laughs> you were thin when you visited, and he said... Oh, I was. I think, like, every day, Florian ate uh, McDonald's and Jamba Juice. Like, <laughs> true and uh, I remember we we're like, Florian, you gotta, you gotta watch it because you don't want to get fat. There's a lot of calories in, in the Jamba Juice, and he's like, I don't believe in what? calories. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, back in that time, I was, I, I could eat so much and it wouldn't affect me. It was great, but then again, I was. It, it was it was such an American visit. It really was like you lived it up <laughs> like a true American. I think you probably gained fifteen pounds in the no way. months. Yeah, in the two or three months that you were here. Are you sure? Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got pictures of myself where I was a fat child, and then I I, I was never really that fat when I was older. <laughs> you was like having a good cool. metabolism. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Too bad I also have. Just the most excessive gluttony of all. <laughs> What's your favorite <laughs> food these days? Oh god. Hmm. I guess it's hard to tell because I'm trying to to not eat as much. So really... What's just... the, if you can think to yourself, man, what's the food that I want the most right now? What would it be if you could have anything? <laughs> uh, it's too bad I, I eat my the food too much anyways, the food that I, I like, so it's... At one point, I don't like it so much anymore. Damn, that's a hard question. I just—it's a hard question of what you what do you want to eat right now? Oh well, if you want to be, if you if you're asking for the one specific thing that that I would want to eat most of all, then yeah, I would think that's a hard question. Really? Like if well, somebody's like, what 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 do you want to eat right now? I'd be like, uh, I'd want a peach snapple <laughs> and a whatchamacallit candy bar. That's what I want. Oh, that's. <laughs> Are those actual what, what foods about you, Paul, or, or what do you want to eat right now? Anything in the world? What do you What do you want right now? Huh, Paul? Oh, are you asking me? Yes. yes. Hmm. Quickly, I Paul. He's right now. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> oh, I know the girl, yeah. You're not happy with pizza? Uh, I love spicy pizza. I like well, that, spicy food. I made up my mind, anyways. What I, is I, it, Florian? I found this new 
the snack that I haven't realized existed is called Mikados and they're just it's like little little bread sticks that are covered in chocolate and they're really thin. And oh they're, yeah. They're pretty good. <laughs> I've had the, um, I've seen those uh, they're called Pocky over here. Well, really they're Jap and they're Japanese for the most part, but they call them Pocky. Hmm. So I've seen I've seen those in shops. Yeah. So they're about the same? Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah, I mean how it's a little thin breadstick with a chocolate half of its chocolate or whatever. Ooh, that, that's pretty good. Even though, I'm not sure if the proper word for what it is is bread, because it's 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 really hard. <laughs> but yeah, it's crisp. Crisp, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're like breadsticks. Yeah. Kind like, of. Yeah, that's hockey breadsticks. for the most part. They're like really thin. Hmm, I, I really don't know how to describe it. It's like a... Thank you, Satan. <laughs> like little what tiny happened? sticks with salt on them that we have. And a, Is there and salt in the sticks? On them. But then again, those, oh, those are different. Oh yeah, there's the blue boom. Now we can watch the slowest boss fight in the game. Yeah. <laughs> you really dislike this boss, don't you, Florian? You know, Edmund, because I think... I think I think it should be in a way that that it gets weaker the longer you fight it. <laughs> it does. Does it? Oh, good. Yeah. I never realized. It. Yeah, it, it it does. It gets weaker the longer you fight, the the weaker it kind of gets. Mm. That's how, how it works. It also is, it's based on like your damage and how many items you have and that sort of stuff too. It kind of like basically has a shield that wears away and then then you can go crazy on it. Dude, get that beam. Oh god. Yeah, get it. <laughs> you got it's it. Overpowered. <laughs> this mission is over now. I, I can never understand which one's the, the active one and which one's the passive one with these beans. Passive one's a black bean. Oh it's yeah. Black. That one's white. I think I picked that up by accident oh, and thought it was active. <laughs> and then it was gone. It's not like this was getting any harder anyway because I have, I started with a wafer. Yeah, it's pretty, li pretty nice to get. <laughs> I yeah, caught yeah, on to people, that. A lot of people hate the Hush fight, but um, <laughs> wow. I think Hush is a great boss. I mean, I, I don't know. I I realize a lot of people like to get busted and then just walk through each room, destroying everything. <laughs> yeah. But there's got to be some there's got to be some gameplay. <laughs> it's too going hard. On here. You have to be <laughs> you have to because... you know kind of dodge stuff and shoot things. You got to be able to do some stuff and just uh just sit around. It's, there's no fun there. <laughs> I think it's he's funny yeah. because everything people dislike, you like, Edmund. <laughs> yeah. <It's true. laughs> I, I definitely, I feel like I'm at a point where like the game that other people think they're playing is not the game that I tried to make. Yeah, but you're not uh, playing it, are you? You're just watching your wife play I am, it. I am watching it, but yeah, but that's, <laughs> that's how I feel about it. Like I feel there should be some tension. Um, like oh. I know you're not going to die. So yeah. there's not really much tension at all. The best Let's Plays... I, I can understand, like, breaking the game and that being really awesome, but some of the best Let's Plays that I've ever seen are the ones that are, like, actually tense. Oh, my. Uh, well, or even, like, when, like people doing streaks myself. and, like, having, like, an 800 game streak or whatever and then it getting really hectic. Like, that's, that's really cool, too, because then you're, like, worried that even though they can get busted constantly, there's still that chance that they could die. Um... And uh, it's important to have that sort of stuff in order to uh, make the game continue to be fun. You don't want to yeah. walk in the park every single I, time. I see, so you're just like making you, it um, make yeah. it so that it's fun to watch, but not specifically to play, just so that people will upload it to YouTube excessively. <laughs> this was your plan all along. That's the idea. <laughs> yes, like... Since you both were lost by giving him a holy mantle, by donating him a greed machine, um, people have been doing lost streaks. How? What's the biggest lost streak? Like, it's like, the last time I looked, it was like 20 or something. It's pretty epic. I mean, like it, it's, it's stupid to think that we made a game that um, people are still basically actively playing and, and making up their own weird arbitrary rules. To oh, yeah. yeah, like, um... Harder. People make Nuzlocke challenges in Pokemon. Oh god. That's true. <clears throat> the hardcore... Yeah, like what is it called? The hardcore know. Pokemon mode? Where if a, a, a Pokemon dies, you have to yeah, delete Nuzlocke. it? Yeah, Nuzlocke. Yeah, it's Nuzlocke. We call it Nuzlocke. Such a disgusting word. 
Just nice log. Ugh. Yeah. Uh. I, I think the person who made that name it was inspired by Nuzleaf, one of the Pokemon in hmm. Generation 3. I, I thought it was some kind of weird abomination between Russian and, and Chip and Jewish. <laughs> Nuzlocke. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool oh, yeah. how people still play. It's speci <coughs> specifically cool how how they how they actually base their YouTube channels on it. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is really bizarre. I know, to think We've essentially made people have a new career. Like people made a living off of playing <laughs> a game that we created. I'm a professional, Isaac. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really weird. Like I never thought that would happen. Oh, but yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, yep. the uh, Afterbirth Plus release will give people enough tools to mod the game and then, you know, make their own shit that they can upload. Uh, the so funny thing, like, I would, I'd love to see like a um, Twitch plays Isaac and how the hell that would work. That would be interesting. Oh, to watch. Left, what you... right, B, stop, yeah. nine. <laughs> Does it uh, work for action games or like not really? I I don't actually know what that means. Which oh, place? anything in... Yeah. Yeah, people type People the controls put commands to oh. move kite in game. Oh yeah, I suppose... I guess if you have a seat, maybe it works, but who knows. Because it, it, might, it probably has to be reproducible. Hmm. I like it how more of a void gives me health to survive this fight, and I've barely taken too much damage because of more of a void. Does I'm it give you red health or, or black health? Black. Black oh, cast. pretty good. If I kill an enemy w with a ring. Oh yeah, pretty good with the flies. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. after a while, I, I I really enjoyed watching people play Isaac, and then I thought I should make a YouTube channel, and then I I wanted to to mimic Northern Lion, but I I failed horribly. Yeah, good. And no one wants to watch my my long videos of, of you know you should, boring you, or playing you should, Isaac. Uh, is if, you, if you play yes. the original, what you could do is mod the game without telling people that you're modding it, and then just every every new stream be like, I figured out this new exploit. If you do this, <laughs> this, this, and this, then you unlock a new item called Florian Space or whatever. And then oh, right. no. I told everyone. Yeah, you could totally have done that, and you're the only person that has the power to do that. Oh yes, it's like a naked Lara. Just start doing that. Yes. <laughs> I'm you into the truck. Oh yeah, but you know hey, I guys, if you beat a champion a hundred times and such, you get to fight <laughs> me into the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so would I actually make? Would I actually mod the game and then upload those those secrets that they can find? Yeah. <laughs> or would, well, or would, would, would they be lies? <laughs> you be like, show me, show me uh, what you're doing, and then you'd 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 have them do the same things and upload a video, and then you you'd lie and you'd say, oh, what you did wrong is you entered the room to the left. You're never supposed to. I forgot. I forgot to mention that you don't go left. You go right, and then you show it again, and then you have them upload videos and and uh, until they murder you. Oh God! Do tell me it's gonna be like uh, clickbait videos where you just show something impossible, and yeah, it's something completely different. Oh yeah, well, yeah. like like the guy who says he can double your internet speed for free by by doing all kinds of ridiculous stuff. Putting tape on the end of the wire. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> uh, but you gotta put a CD into the wire. <laughs> uh, what a silly thing. So anyways, I guess we should continue the story of how we met. <laughs> uh, what else? What Wait, else? I mean, what else we, indeed? Hmm. We just churned out. Well, that, see, my 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 best memory, my most vivid memory, is when when you were like, "Hey, I got this prototype for." A spider game. Uh, oh yeah. Spider <laughs> Man. Huh? It's, spider it was, Man. It was try, <laughs> Knit Paul. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was it was pretty nuts. Like the physics engine that you made for it was totally insane, and I was like, <gasps> oh yeah, I was it, like, was, yeah, okay. it was so like, laggy. I could, I could take this this basic you know physics prototype, and I think we could make a whole game with that. And that <laughs> yeah. was like. That was that was the beginning of a new era for me. Really, it was, it was like oh, like, 
We can do some interesting stuff. And you were so down with whatever. And I was like, yeah, let's, let's do some wacky shit. <laughs> and that game was so up your alley as well because it was a highly glitchy and buggy physics game, just like Gish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It was very similar to Gish. It was so similar, you could even die if you go too fast, just like in Gish. Yep. <laughs> Horrible. Are you just five pushing? It was the true Gish sequel. Oh yeah, I'm not even sure. Wait, there's, not, there's hardly even crushing. combat. I just think there was crushing. It was all just horrible flash drawings that were somehow made into physics walls. And <laughs> they wouldn't even move. Yeah, it was all balls. Everything was balls. Everything was balls. Yeah, I, everything was balls except for the walls. Everything's <laughs> 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 uh. balls except for the, the walls. Oh yeah, we're almost at the end. Final <laughs> frontier. Will Paul succeed? We will never know. Oh wow, this is pretty that. cool. Here's a thing. The player oh. is still useless. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look at all these shit items. <laughs> As usual. It's you, fucking garbage. You wanted space for items, right? You could have doubled the luck and doubled the health from these. <laughs> Edwin, why aren't you giving me good stuff to double with Diplopia? <laughs> yeah, Edwin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I should have prayed to you at night about the RNG. <laughs> oh, thanks for opening our secret. Oh yeah, pretty good. Hmm. Let's see what else was there to our amazing meeting. <laughs> well, you. Oh, yeah. oh, I got another one. I got another uh, Florianism. Oh god. Uh, so Florian, he uh, he was manning the booth at the IGF because I was totally losing my mind. And oh. I, I, just, <laughs> I I didn't know if I could even go. I was totally having panic attacks <laughs> every day, and I was like, "All right, Florian, you can man the booth, and maybe I'll make it up there." <laughs> and I think I ended up coming up for just like the last couple hours of, of the first night. And uh, so Florian was alone um, <laughs> with with everybody around. And I heard that, um, so Cactus, uh, one of the guys that made uh, um, Hotline Miami. What, really? He, he made showing, that? Jesus. Yeah, he, he was there showing um, what, the really? game. Called That's the, the Cactus I found there, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, Florian was there, and he saw his game. I can't remember what it was called. It was like Clean Asia or something. I don't know. It was a weird game. And uh, Florian's like, "Your game would be better if if you hired an artist that was good." <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was hideous. But he didn't take my advice, as evident in Hotline Miami. <laughs> it's, it's still hideous. <laughs> I guess that's why you never play it. Oh, of course, but I didn't even realize that was the guy that I insulted so long ago. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> this I is wonder, a great room, by the way. I wonder if he remembers. <laughs> I wonder, he probably he might. He might. Oh, I wonder if he realizes that I made Isaac. <laughs> uh, this is a po it's a possibility. He will after he sees this video. Oh, no I mean, one's gonna see this he's video. He's been talking for years. <laughs> he's, your, he's your ultimate rival. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damage. Damn it, why'd he have to make Hotline Miami? Now I'll never show my face again. <laughs> it's like two big guys just fighting each other. Oh. Wow, I, I can't believe that was the guy. Though. That's hilarious. He made an actual game on Steam. Amazing. He made so a did few. you. Like, he's, he's, he's made, um, I mean, back in the day he used to make tons of games. He made a lot of really interesting, weird, weird shit. <laughs> Mm. Well, imagine if he if he got together with an artist, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> he well he did. I'm pretty sure. Wait, did he do? Well, he, he, did, still, he did some of the art for um for Hotline Miami. Could be time. Well, it's still hideous pixel art, so I'm sure he didn't change anything. You have such <laughs> disdain for. Uh, <laughs> I do. For pixel art. Uh, you, you probably chose this style for Rebirth just to spite me. Because. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm glad we didn't end up going with the pixels. Like that's what I wanted to do for the original. I thought it would be easier, and I thought it would. I just wanted it to look like Zelda, but then in the end, I just couldn't. I couldn't animate the sprites oh. right, so I decided to just wow. draw it because it'll take it'll take less time. Um, but Legend of Zelda isn't still pixels, by the way. Well, now <laughs> it's not yeah, just. 
massive well, the, pixels, it's like really detailed and with 3DS and such. Well, the original Legend of Zelda would be. Yeah. It's, that's still the game by that name. <laughs> Wait, see, but it's the current year, though. No, not the current year. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, so we we didn't finish Guppy because for one reason might have been because I didn't like pixel art as well. And I, that was barely pixel art. Do you realize that I ended up using I ended up using a lot of the the background art in the forest and stuff? That's all background art for, for yeah, me. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I, I, I recognize on, yeah. the pixel art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why not make a game based on Guppy? From. I mean, that's why the original Meat Boy Flash game was he was uh, a square because all the characters in Guppy were square. Yeah, that is, by the way, not the not actually the Guppy from Isaac. It, it was a, a huge sperm monster that Guppy were talking about then. <laughs> yeah, Guppy Final was a, fight. a giant two-tailed big mouth sperm. Yeah, we, we probably should have made something with that. Oh well. <laughs> I was actually just playing that the other the other day. I, I had randomly I was going through some an old hard drive, and uh, <laughs> there was a folder called old game prototypes, and I had the uh, I had the guppy one in there. Wow. It's, it's pretty. I mean, we should, we you can just put it up somewhere and let people play with it on Newgrounds or whatever. Well, I'm pretty sure you put it on your your CD, anyways. The one I that did, you but made. Nobody has that. Nobody has a CD. <laughs> I think I have it. And I'm not even sure I inserted it into the computer yet. I'm, I'm pretty sure yeah. I already, because I assumed that I already knew all the stuff from there. I think from like all... the last thing that we added was like we we gave the the, the um little non-player character, well the enemies, I guess you could call them. We gave them a bunch of different weapons. You remember that? There was like ten <laughs> weapons, and they were all like physics-based Gatling guns and shotguns and pistols and bazookas. Uh, like oh God. That so game there's, was... an attack, there's an attack helicopter that you could like throw into the wall. Uh, oh god, I remember one time looking at the code of that game and it was all just horrible and I'm sure by now it will just be the most atrocious code that I could ever imagine. Well, don't, I'm not saying do old. anything with it, I'm saying literally <laughs> oh, yeah. take the last build, upload it on, on Newgrounds and I'll link it on Twitter and people will play it. Oh yeah, you can... You can feel free to link it, uh, to, to upload it, I guess. You already published on your CD anyways. You can put it up. I don't even think I can log into my Newgrounds account anymore. I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> no. no fucking clue. You'll never ch change that type on the Isaac demo now. <laughs> you screwed. Go down in history. Oh, no. Edmund's Isaac. Edmund's biggest fuck up. <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> to Zack or not to Zack? <laughs> All right. Well, that was that was great fun. You should totally come on again at some point. We we still have so much catching up to do or or reminiscing even. <laughs> For sure, I'm down. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> well, subscribe yeah, for more for more Isaac and Edmund. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.